Hello, welcome back on my solo system. We want to install Sardi icons, but this time not via SourceForge like in the other video. This time I'm going to automate the tasks I did and you run a script. That's the only thing I'm gonna do. Run a script. You go to the GitHub of Eric Dubois Ultimate Source. Okay, you have the, all these files here, all this information, all this knowledge that you can use and reuse. It's open. Everybody can download it. Everybody can see it. You can git clone it. Eh? Clone with HTTPS. You can just go to the terminal and clone this one. Git clone that link. Or I can explain you that you can just download the zip. Go here. Yes, I've just downloaded it. Forgot to delete it. No, it's not delete. As it says already deleted. Extract here, okay, and now we can, we don't have icons, what we have is a script to install the icons, what do we have? We have this Sardi icon team that says this line is the most important one, get me the latest Sardi. And if I'm rerunning it already, then it's going to clean up everything in the temp file. This line says get it and name it like so make a directory, extract everything in that directory, remove the tar file, make a hidden folder if it does not exist, and move it then to this hidden folder, and in the end, clean up again. So everything is cleaned up, you have a clean system, and everything is extracted to the Sardi icons. That's, that sounds quite right. So, open in terminal, you should get this one, in another movie I'll explain you what this Sardi extra one is, this one here. So we're running this one, which is the core 18 icon sets that Sardi has, 18, yes, you hear me correctly. And then you enter it, it's going to download the 7.9.2 at the moment, November, beginning of November 2016. Okay, done. Okay, that's easy. So. The only difference between the SourceForge video and this one is I don't have to go to the SourceForge, unzip it and put it in there. Everything is done automatically through a script. Are they there? Yes, I have 18 folders. Do I have 18 folders? Yes, 18 folders are selected. So we can go to our little GNOME tweet tool and we can go over all these SATI icons, whether we like them or not. We just can't uninstall uh, elements um, just to be clear Sardi is one of the core elements Sardi Flood is one of them Sardi Flexible is one of them Sardi Ghost Flexible is one of them and Sardi Mono these five are the core and all the rest depends on these five because of folders so Sardi Mono is this kind of look the Sardi Mono the only difference between Sardi and Sardi Mono, Mono Art is there you go the folders you still have the same applications uh, icons because of this study mono which is like this so this all the monos depend on this one and all the flexibles depend on flexible all the flats depend on the flat and so on everywhere you see the word colora it means you should take no you should not take you can take action there is a script inside and can you can change the sardis at your own uh, wishes so, and you have only one hexadecimal code or two or three hexadecimal codes to put in and then you have a complete different look and a different color so that's why I put Colora behind it so to be clear this one can be changed through scripts um, this one can be changed through a script not the word Colora I know of course Sardi Ghost Flexible can be changed, that's why the word flexible. Sardi Monocolora can be changed and Sardi Mononumix Colora can be changed. So quite a few possibilities to get to different kind of Sardi icons and that's why we have this script Sardi Extra. So that's another movie.